हेलो कोडर्स वेलकम बैक टू रिफ्रेश कोडिंग एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट एमेज इन एस थ्री सो वट इज एस थ्री इट इज सिंपली सिंपल स्टोरेज सर्विस इन ए डब्ल्यू एस सो अप टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस अ लॉट अबाउट ई सी टू विच इज अ लॉट अबाउट कंप्यूटेशन बट टिल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्टोरेज सो इफ यू कैन सी एवरी ऑब्जेक्ट इन एस थ्री इज स्टोर्ड इन अ बकेट सो वट इज अ बकेट इट इज जस्ट सिंपली काइंड ऑफ यू कैन से स्टोरेज प्लेस और समथिंग वेयर वी कैन स्टोर द फाइल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी क्रिएटिंग अ बकेट एंड वी विल बी स्टोरिंग सम फाइल्स इन द बकेट एंड देन वी विल बी एक्सेसिंग द फाइल एंड वी विल सी हाउ टू वर्क विद इट सो वॉट यू कैन सी हियर द ऑब्जेक्ट्स विल बी स्टोर वट इज रिटर्न हियर दैट बकेट वेयर द ऑब्जेक्ट्स विल बी स्टोर सो वट इज द ऑब्जेक्ट हियर नाउ ऑब्जेक्ट कैन बी एनी फाइल फोल्डर और इमेज एनीथिंग सो वी विल क्विकली स्टार्ट बाई क्रिएटिंग बकेट सो आई विल क्रिएट अ बकेट हियर नाउ हियर यू कैन गिव एनी बकेट नेम नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम बट यू विल हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट द बकेट नेम इज ग्लोबली यूनिक एंड इट मस्ट नॉट कंटेन स्पेसेज एंड अपर केस लेटर्स so let's say here i am creating a bucket as refresh uh, coding um, bucket refresh coding bucket and here you can select any uh, aws region whatever region you want to select you can select so i'll keep it as us east one only if you have any existing bucket which setting you want to copy you can choose that bucket but i don't have any bucket so i will keep it as it is object ownership this is very very important so now if you are giving acl enabled ownership then objects in this bucket can be owned by other aws accounts also and access to this bucket and its objects can be specified using acls so it is not recommended because you can see acl disabled is recommended if you only want to store and use your data but here i will create it as acl enabled because i want to access the file by using the url so if acl it is disabled then you will not be access the file that's a problem okay again here you have two options one is bucket owner preferred like whoever is the bucket owner uh, he can access that uh, particular bucket files folders anything or object writer object writer means uh, the person who is writing the file who is uploading the file so here i will keep it as bucket owner only and after that one more thing you need to remember you cannot block all public access because otherwise you will not be able to access your files through urls so we will not keep this uh, like block all public access if you will check it this will be this will block all the public access and i don't want that so we will uncheck it after that it will give me a warning that if you are blocking all public access anyone can you know see your uh, files and all those things so i will just keep simply acknowledge it after that bucket versioning it's up to you you can enable it or disable it so i'll keep it disabled only tags are also optional encryption is also optional if you want to enable if you want to secure your files you can enable encryption so otherwise you can keep it disabled only after this no need to go in advanced settings anything just create bucket it will take some time depending on your internet speed and then your bucket will be created so now if you can see here it has successfully created bucket as refresh coding bucket and i can see my bucket here in the list of buckets here now i can see the details of my bucket by clicking here so right now if you can see in my bucket there are no objects there are no files nothing so what we need to do we just need to upload a file here so that we can see how to work with that file so we will uh, quickly click on this upload button and if you can upload a file by just simply uh, dragging and dropping or else you can add file and you can select the locations so here i have a file as first dot html so i want to drag and drop this file here here so if you can see i have got my file first dot html here 
uh, if you want to if if you don't want to drag and drop you can just simply click here in add files and you can select the file location and you can add it not a problem after that after dragging and dropping just do upload again it depends on your file size and it and, and internet speed how much time it will take to upload your file why it is not uploading here it is uploading now and if you can see since i have taken a very small size html file so upload succeeded upload uh, so now what i will do i will just go through my bucket and here if you can see i got my file which is first dot html now if i want to access this file i will just click on this and you can see here i got a url for this file object url i will quickly copy this url and i will paste it here so that i can access my file and there you go you will get an error because we have not given a particular permission to the file so publicly right now i am not being able to access it so what i will do here i will quickly go here and i will go in object actions and here i will go down and i will say make public using acl so since i have created it with that acl uh, permission you know if you remember it is acl enabled so that's why it will give you a public access and then i will say make public so until and unless i won't be i won't make it public i won't be able to access it on the browser so now this file is public so now i will go here i will just refresh it and there you go i got my first html this is what is the html code which i have written in the file so i am getting that code here that means my file is accessible and it is working here so where is this file technically it is there in my system but why what i have done i have uploaded this file to my aws s3 which is simple storage and now if you can see i am accessing the url of that s3 where i have loaded it and i am being able to access my file so that's it in this video in the next video how uh, we will see how we can host a static website uh, on aws and actually this is also known as hosting a static websites only so this is how you can do it if you want to upload some more files you can just go to your bucket and you can add a file folder image whatever you want uh, but make sure you do not uh, upload or use a big size file because if your storage size is increasing then aws will charge you according to whatever size storage you are using like right now i am just using 436 you know bytes so it's a very very small file but if you are using some gb's file or some you know file your file is going beyond 5 gb or something then aws will start charging you so be careful about that okay so that's it in this video thank you for watching if you like this please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you